Welcome, welcome to Booty Bands and Barbells helps busy women sculpt and tone their bodies in just 15 minutes a day through our physical products and our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Today's topic is about reprogramming your life. And this has been an absolute game changer in my life. And so I'm really excited to bring this to you because this has been one of the most, um, I would say, influencing to all of our members that are in accountability that really have been able to say like, wow, this fast track 10 to 20 years of therapy. And I thought, holy cow. And uh, so not only did it change my life in so many drastic ways, I know that it's helping change others. So welcome in. Excited to get into it. So um, how many of you guys either are doing like self-development, whether that is uh, therapy or if it's just doing your own research of like self-development books, or maybe you listen to podcasts. As life happens, we get kind of consumed in the topic or phase that we're in. So let's say if we're a mom, we get really into the parenting. Or let's say if we're in business, we get really consumed with business. So so sometimes we don't really prioritize self-development because we're focusing on another area. And then oftentimes we can come into a certain area of our life, then we start prioritizing it, right? So I I would say for me, you know, the word therapy in general makes you feel broken. And I feel like, you know, as soon as you start to hear like, mindset, you know, you just start to go, hmm, it sounds a little scary, sounds a little uncomfortable, and I don't want to go into it. But then if we hear reprogram your life, that you can have and be and do whatever you want in your life, well, then it starts to kind of sound a little bit intriguing, especially if we've been living our life in stuck patterns. Today's topic is really about reprogramming your life. And so immediately the first thing that can come up is like, hmm, do I really want to do that? Do I need to do that? And it's not until we usually hit crisis mode in our life, whether that is a relationship, whether that's with our body, whether that's with our business, or whether that's with whatever different chapter in life that we end up having to go into crisis mode to usually change. And it doesn't have to be crisis mode, you guys, to change. So if you're feeling some sort of unsettlement in your life right now and you're just like, it's just not quite the way that I want it to be. I'd rather fully really feel myself and I want to feel all the areas of my life optimal, not just normal, but like optimal. I want to be abundant in all these different areas. I want life to come at ease. I want to ha be happy. I want to be more at peace. And if that's what you want, great. Keep listening. <laughs> so let's go into it. What are your goals? All areas of your life. Do you feel like you've mastered all areas of your life or are you still trying to accomplish certain areas of your life? So what are your goals? What are you trying to achieve? Are you wanting more abundance, prosperity, finances? Are you wanting to have a stronger, healthier relationship? Are you just wanting more confidence within yourself and maybe when you look in the mirror? Now, when you write your goals, I want your initial goals and then I want you to really think outside of the box. I want you to think something that's like, wow, if I got that, man, that would feel almost impossible. It would feel like magical if I could get it. And maybe there's like a near, like, you know, that, that's like, maybe I'm not even able to get it, but I want you to think of it. And I want you to think, what would it be like if I could reach something that was just, wow, that. So, um, you know, when I initially started setting goals, you know, there's fear that creeps in. It's interesting. And we start to downplay ourselves right off the bat with our goals because we think, well, I, you know, not everyone has it all, so I can't have it all. And so we like immediately self-doubt ourselves right from the very beginning. Isn't it interesting as humans that we do that? But then you see some people that have it all and you're like, oh, well, maybe they're just the lucky ones. Or is it that we're playing small or we're thinking that it's impossible to get there or that our age or our genetics or that we're not smart enough or our age, you know, whatever it is. Like we start coming up with all these different excuses. So I want you right now to remove all of those in your mind and I want you to really play with your goals. So take it from me. The second I stopped playing small, there was a big shift that's going to start to happen. I remember when I first was like kind of coming into booty band, you guys have been following me for quite some time now. And I was like, yeah, I want to help like a couple hundred women like look and feel sexy in their bodies. Do you know what my mission statement is now? 
I want to help 1 million women by 2025 be able to step into their best selves, whether that's their body, whether that's their business, whether that's their relationship, whether that's their lives. And I know I can do that. I have the tools and the resources. I've been seeing it every single day changing women. So isn't that beautiful that at first, at first when I go into my goals, it was like, oh, maybe I can do a couple hundred. But now I'm saying 1 million by 2025. You guys expand yourself right now. This is your permission to expand yourself. What I have really been able to uncover is the permission side. I think so often we are raised in kind of like this generational earshot of what our grandmas and our grandpas and our moms and our dads are telling us. And I remember coming into this world hearing as a little kid, like, you can't afford that or you can't fit into that, or you're not skinny enough for that. You know, and all these things that I hear women say that they're just like immediately defeated right at the very beginning because of just generational. Now, it doesn't mean that our parents were out here to try to set us up on the wrong foot, but I think what happens is their beliefs then become our beliefs. And I just got off a call and it was it was so profound as she goes, my grandma told my mom that we're not the lucky ones. And so my mom raised me telling me, you're not the lucky one. So she's going her whole life with a belief of, I'm just not lucky. What? What is that doing? What is that doing? I mean, I mean, truly. And so I will get into the topic today because I'm going on my high horse of how excited I am for this. So if you have never heard of this before, well, you're welcome then because I'm so excited because this has been shared with you talk about the Dr. Joe Dispenza's, you talk about the Tony Robbins, you talk about everybody that's out there that is really profound and changing people's lives. They talk about one thing. It's a pattern. You have to identify the patterns that are in your life to then take charge and start controlling and changing your life. Because if you don't aware of the patterns, how do you change it? So truly the first step is awareness identifying what is going on in your life. So I found this to be interesting. I don't know if any of you guys can relate on this one, but uh, any divorcees out there, <laughs> married and divorced? <laughs> okay, so when, when I got divorced and I heard from somebody that the, the common trend with somebody that gets divorced is typically you might get a second and a third divorce that's gonna happen. And when I heard that, I immediately put my foot down and said, absolutely not me. Absolutely not me. I am going to make sure, hence the reason why it's been almost 10 years in my current relationship right now. Okay, I'm engaged now, yes, but I'm still not married, okay? So I have been very, very into this of not making the same mistakes. I didn't want to fall into the same patterns. So then we go into, okay, well, why is it that I'm constantly trying to lose the same 20 pounds year after year, October after October, January after January? Why does it seem like I can't seem to get it off? Patterns. Or why is it that it seems like we start something and we get all this motivation and we're so excited for this new program or this new diet or this new thing and then all of a sudden the shininess goes away and we're back to the old same us. Patterns. Are you with me? <laughs> so I want you to now be aware of it. The next question I have for you is what patterns are you starting to notice in your own life? Is it you're constantly attracting the same type of people, the same type of man, or the same type of girlfriends? Are you constantly attracting weight, you just can't seem to get it off. It's like, why is it continuing to keep coming back on my body? Hence the yo-yo effect. Is it constantly being able to just feel defeated in business, never being able to reach your goals financially? And you feel like you're just constantly saying you don't have enough money? That's a pattern, honey. Okay? So what patterns are you starting to see? Because I'm ready to change your freaking life. All right, if I changed my life, I have to change yours because why? It's so beautiful on the other side of your pattern. 
It's freedom. It's that magical feeling that you think, oh my gosh, is it really possible? Yes, it is. And you know who's getting in your way is your own thoughts saying that it's not. Oh, you're going to want to write down what your pattern is. Again, the first step to change is awareness. And if you want to keep your patterns, you don't have to comment. You can just sit on the sideline. But I'm telling you right now, if you want to play this game with us called life and start to own every area of your life, to not only feel confident in maybe business, but feel confident in your sex life, also feel confident in your relationship, uh, confident in your, my goodness, every aspect. Think of every aspect of your life that you want to be abundant and successful at. Okay, so now that we have, we're aware of it, okay, now what we want to do is we want to see where and what the pattern is doing. What is it that you're lacking in your life? That's the first step. So write it down, comment. What are you lacking? Are you lacking that tone body? Are you lacking your health? Are you lacking your confidence? Are you lacking money? Are you lacking that relationship? What are you lacking? And then when you lack that, what does it trigger? What are the... What are the feelings and the thoughts that come up after that? Is it comparison? Is it judgment? What comes up? And then when you think that, what do you feel? What are those common feelings on repeat? I feel sad. I feel mad. I feel frustrated. I feel like I just want to give up. Right? And then what do you do? Do you sleep a lot? Do you read a lot? Do you shop a lot? Do you eat a lot? Do you chew gum a lot? Do you drink alcohol? Do you yell and scream at your kids a lot? Like what happens then after the feeling of, I don't feel good? Okay, that is your loop. So draw a circle around it. I just did it in 2.7 seconds. It's awesome. Okay, so I couldn't really be of service tonight if I didn't give you an example. So I have this really special, special member. Um, is Jennifer. And um, Jennifer came into my life when I first not only like figured out my loop, but she was the first po- person I took down this, I want to say about a year ago. And it was the start, the beautiful start of, watch this, hundreds and thousands of loops later. Like the list goes on of like where it really kind of stemmed after that. Okay, so I, I want to go back up to Jennifer though. So you guys can see all the different <laughs> women we've taken in this. Um, okay, so Jennifer. So Jennifer came to me and she was in one of my programs, one of one-on-one programs. And she was her one of her things that she was lacking was a relationship and a fit, healthy, toned body. Those were the two things that she was struggling with. And what happened is we found what's called the trigger. That's an event in your life that creates the limiting belief. And it was something's wrong with me. Something's wrong with Jennifer. She is needs to be fixed because she's broken. Now this belief, we kind of found it. Where, where, why, why did this happen? Why did you feel like you were broken at such a young age? So around eight or nine years old is when her mom got remarried. And to a fabulous guy. And he came into the home and was like, you guys, I just want to like improve the family and to make everyone healthier. And so they were like, yeah, great idea. So the mom and dad came to Jennifer at eight, nine years old and said, honey, we're going to start eating healthier. We're going to start exercising together. and We're just going to be become healthier. And in that moment, the parents said nothing wrong, but Jennifer perceived it as, well, then something's wrong with me. I need to be fixed. I'm broken. Which led to the thought of I see other people's success and I get very jealous. And in that jealous place is where a lot of emotions come up. That empty, lonely feeling of hopelessness. Because if everybody else can have success, I'm just a failure. And then that place of that empty loneliness, I call it the void. This is where everything is stemmed from, you guys. The void is where alcoholics are alcoholics, drug users are drug users, Uh, cheaters are cheaters. You may think that these people are wacko because they keep changing, you keep utilizing these crutches in their life, but really it's because of 
an emotion that's so painful, that's so low, it's such an empty void in their life that it creates a distraction, a numbness, a voiding out of life because it's so painful. And so they use. And sometimes using looks as form as comfort foods. And using can look in the form of shopping or starting something brand new because you get this immediate feeling of hope again. Because if you're in a place of hopelessness, oh man, doesn't it feel good to start something new? Like a new something shiny, right? And then we gravitate to maybe programs that will be like quick fixes. You know, that quick pill or that cream that's going to take all of our cellulite away. So we gravitate to these like really extremes is what I call it. Okay, so what Jennifer did is after feeling this empty, lonely feeling of hopelessness, giving up, eating the ice cream, and filling the void with anything that comforts her in that moment. And then she's getting drained physically and mentally from all the bad foods. And then what comes next? The negative self-talk. So then it just spirals back into low on myself, get down on myself. That's where the self-isolation, avoiding people, avoiding yourself, going back into other people can have success. It's not for me. I'm broken. Do you guys see a pattern going on? So what we know is that events have created limiting beliefs in our life. And those limiting beliefs create thoughts. And those thoughts create more thoughts. And those thoughts lead to emotions. And those emotions are actually so powerful that they're things that manifest into our life because literally it is a frequency. If you guys do, if you guys know anything about manifestation, anything about how law of attraction, the the laws of the universe that are proven, like cause and effect, about how you can be successful, is literally the frequency is off because our emotion is literally in hopelessness, depression, emptiness, loneliness. How can you attract abundance into your life when you literally are on a frequency of something opposite? So now we have to ask ourselves, hold on, Jennifer's stuck in being single and overweight. Do we now see why she's been stuck in this pattern for 20 years of her life? 20 years. Stuck. Pattern. Now, this is not the, this is not the oldest pattern I've seen. I have seen patterns up to 46 years. I've seen patterns. How long have you been stuck? And for me, mine was 10. I can't believe we allow ourselves to be stuck for 10, 20, almost 50 years. How do we allow ourselves to stay like this? Because we're afraid. Because fear. It's powerful. Powerful is a contracting energy that will isolate and contract who you are really meant to be. And the opposite is love. It is an expansive energy. It is who you are really meant to be. And they prove this by actually putting up a frequency of fear versus a frequency of of love. And next to your human DNA, literally the codons of fear do not match your DNA. You're not aligned with yourself when you're living in fear. But when you live in your love, your real essence of you, it matches the codons of your human DNA strands. And you then reach your freaking goals. And I can prove this to you. I was stuck for 10 years in my body goals. 10. I was soft skinny. I had cellulite everywhere. I was ruining the inside of my body, trying to get an outside look. I was literally just deteriorating my digestive system as I was trying the next newest, quickest thing possible. And it was leading to the most un, the unhealthiest version of myself. And you know what? The most unconfident version of myself, binge and purging in a bathroom and somebody walked in on me, my coworker walked in on me and I was like, I forgot to lock the door. To my horror, I realized how unhealthy I had gotten. And it was 10 years I was just stuck in this pattern. Right? So how do we break it? So I'm going to tell you how this beautiful, beautiful experience of breaking the pattern. Okay. So just 
you're not the only one. You can clearly see with all these loops, I hid their names because I want to keep their information private. It is important to me that we have trust in our community and I value these women to have the trust to come into the program and to change their life. Their higher self was ready. It was really cool. Okay, so how do we do it? What we need to do is create the separation. We have to understand our truth. And I don't tell you your truth. I bring you to a place where you tell me your truth. And from that place is where we can then go into finding your new self-love loop. When you hit truth, it is easy after that, you guys. The feeling is natural. Because you know when you look in the mirror and you're trying to force yourself to feel beautiful and it doesn't feel natural? It's proven to not work. If the emotions are not there to feel like you actually truly believe it, then it's not going to work. And so it is so powerful when you learn how to step into who you truly are. And let's actually hear exactly how that looks. So Jennifer, if you guys remember with our story initially with her 20-year loop. So what we did is we found out, okay, so as she created the separation, she realized my, car- my parents were just coming from a place of love. I was never broken. So that limiting belief that she had at eight or nine years old, she was able to go back to that eight or nine year old self and tell her their truth. Honey, you've always been enough. You weren't even fat at eight or nine years old. You were never broken. Something was wrong. Nothing was wrong with you. You just had a limiting belief and that's okay. We all have them, but we don't need to hold on to those beliefs our entire life. We can come into our truth. And that made her feel like she had control over her outcomes and her future. And that feeling of control gave her the feeling of, I can take on the world. I can have my power back. And with that feeling, she goes, I want to love myself. And not only do I want to love myself, I want to love others. And now she's starting to do things that are uncomfortable, things that she used to fear. Now she's like, no, I see where it was making me grow. It feels empowering. But the first time in her life, she stepped on our podcast and she was able to say, This would have terrified me before. But the first time she was able to do a photo shoot and step in front of a camera and own her beauty. And now she's been going out and starting to date. And when I last reached out to her, she was already down two pant sizes. Do you see the bigger picture? So when people say you're not motivated or you're not consistent, well, why? It's like an alcoholic that goes after alcohol. Why? There's a big root cause to it. And until you can get to the root cause, honey, we start to get unstuck. And not only do we see this with one or five or 10, but hundreds of our members that come through our program to say, holy shit, I can have those goals. I don't have to limit myself. I can think big. That's why I was making you think big on our first, the very beginning of our goals, because honey, it's time, it's time to stop thinking small. So if you're ready to take control of your life and have that same experience like Jennifer, not have to force or fight or keep trying these new things, but how about actually find the root? And then that ripple effects into all these other areas of your life. It becomes easy for her now to, tr- to go towards fears. It's now easy for her to now date and jump on a podcast and be in front of a camera. It wouldn't have been easy before, but we found the root and that's what creates the ripple effect. So if you're interested in doing a one-on-one where we can go into that, comment I'm in down below and I'll have one of my coaches reach out and see if you're a good fit because you're not a good fit if you still want to hold on to your pattern. So let let me hear from you. Are you ready to break your pattern? Yes? Or no? No, if you're still fearful. Fearful of what? Fearful of a better life? Fearful of a new confident you? Fearful of reaching that toned body that you can achieve no matter your age? Your age, girl, is not your problem. It's not. I used to use age, genetics. Oh, boy. Oh, what else did I use? Tomorrow's. I'm broken. I'm not the lucky one. Isn't it interesting just the things we tell ourselves to keep ourselves stuck? So comment. Yes. Are you ready to break the patterns to really reach your goals? 
And what I've seen is that not only, I mean, yes, we're health and fitness. That's ultimately booty bands, health and fitness. But what I see is women come through this is they're like, my relationship got better. I set boundaries in my relationship for 20 years that was cheating on me. And I set boundaries and now he respects me. Well, well, I wasn't expecting that. (laughs) I mean, yeah, I got you a toned body, but isn't it beautiful that you can also have a stronger, healthier relationship? Isn't that phenomenal? Or not only that, but I also hear in business how it takes out the blocks in their life as far as what's fogging their vision and they're able to then see clarity as far as what's blocking them. Okay, so then financial abundance can come into your life. Pretty freaking cool. I love it. So if this is, again, we can live our life in fear, which is a contracting energy, which you saw Jennifer doing, self-isolation, and avoiding people. Avoiding people and avoiding yourself does not help you reach your goals. I'll tell you that right now. It is a contracting energy. It shrinks you. It shrinks you, your goals, and your potential. And if you've been living it for years, then I get it. It can feel in a weird way safe. But if you felt like it is safe to be expansive and in your love frequency to reach your goals, I'll let you know that I'll let you know now that you can hold my hand and I'll let you know it's safe. Cuz I did it. And if you've been watching me for the last 6 years, you probably see a big change cuz I got a lot of people saying there's kind of a shift about you recently. I go, "Yep. Yeah, there is. There's a big shift." And that shift, I now teach other women. Because it's my greatest gift and it was my rock bottom moments that allowed me to see those shifts. So embrace those moments in your life. Okie dokie. Lots of love. You guys have an amazing one. I want you to know that you are limitless. You are abundant. You are full of success. You are success. You are this. You are not have to be. You don't want to be. You are these things. So connect to your real essence of who you are. Let yourself blossom. Any goals that you desire, they're yours. Truly. It's what's in here. If you are stopping yourself and limiting your potential, this is what has to change. Because your goals absolutely can come true. Lots of love. Have a great one. Bye, y'all. Since you felt like this